we need to get them calm, then we need to get their work on getting their attention. I'm going to do this um, a tiny little bit with Zozo here. Here's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to find a little up. You're going to create a pattern. You're going to grab like eight or ten treats with your puppies, and you're going to take a little treat from their nose. And if you're brand new to this game, you might toss it six inches away and let them go get it. And as soon as you look back at you, I want you to give them another one. And then you're going to take a little tree and you're going to toss it six inches away. Now, if you're going to use Finley or Vinny or Gibson, my guess is you can toss it about six feet away, straight out in front of you, not towards the other dogs. Oh, you're so good. Oh, I like this game. I don't know what we're doing. But if it's your puppy's first week here, all I want you to do is toss the tree down, feed them when they, when they come back to you. Toss the tree away, feed them when they come back to you. I don't even need you to say anything. Because I need them to learn the pattern. And sometimes if we're talking at them and I'm trying to learn a pattern, they're not actually learning that much. So I just, I want them to learn that nice hand signal. If your puppy has been here for a couple of weeks, I'm looking at you guys. Remember that your words are, go get it. Then we toss the treats. When they look back at us, we say come. But for right now, Rusty and Zozo, it can just be toss the treat. Build a nice pattern, make it simple, help them be successful. All right, so grab 10 treats, go ahead, and build up a little pattern so you are really nursing them for coming back to you and letting them know that they can get away from you.
So if I pop it, oh, what's that? We love it. Oh, 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 Ideally, I'd like to tell you, call your puppies out of play. Just 
she likes happy cum. I do think that is a college level behavior. Um, some of you probably didn't do it really easily, didn't want to play it anyways. But some of you going to take a little bit longer because they're like, oh my god, play the best in the world. Um, whichever staff that you have, really want to practice sort of the catch and release. Whether you catch your puppy and treat them and then let them go play, or you ask them to, uh, or you ask them to, uh, ask them to come and call and then you send them back to play. You really want to think about doing that. I love treats. Using treats in class makes my life super easy. However, you will find as your puppy gets a little bit older and they have bigger opinions, they're like, meh, your treats are fine. I'm going to go play. I'm going to say hi. I'm going to go explore. I have to worry about something. Maybe they don't want to eat in that moment. So right out the gate, I'm trying to get you guys to think about other rewards that you're doing. Hey, Barbara, it's me. I don't know what happens. Okay. No, I don't. I don't. You guys, I always have uh, I always have to be some happy hobbies over on a over in a bowl on the counter so if your puppy ever gets kind of bored of your treat, I just no, it's just like so intense. Okay, so in your I love this. This is gonna be a like, food. I don't even know how to train this. Okay, so here it is what you've got. You've got a towel, and if you can get your puppy on the towel, this is a total love that kind of also kind of getting it down, but it's not really down because it's really wiggle butt. <laughs> um, so here's the thing. Um, I'm going to do that little bit of a go guide again. It's very, we're very weird. And then she comes back to the top and be like, okay, we get a treat, and a treat, and a treat. And we're super wiggly. I don't even know how to This isn't exactly where I want to go. I'm going to work with what I want to. So here's what you're looking at. You guys, I think all of your puppies are going to be a little bit different. Go get it. I did. Oh, man, I said they were different. So what I'm looking is, if we can get them on the towel, two feet, four feet, I don't care how many feet you get on the towel, they get a treat, and a treat, and if they walk off the towel, they're going to get a treat, they're going to be like, don't get it, which feels really weird and really counterintuitive. You, uh, a couple of you guys, this is going to be very easy, I think, I actually think this is going to be even easy for Zozo. Um, if you can get them on the towel, and I'm just trying to show stand it, we get a treat, and then if we can get that, this, we're going to get a treat, and then if we can get it down, we're going to get a treat, and then if we stay in the down, we're going to get a treat, and a treat, and a treat. But if we pop back up, or we come off the bed, I want you to do a little bit of a go get it treat. Um, I'm just going to, you know what, I'm just going to stop there, because I'm like, she's like the perfect example of like, oh, that's very nice. I'm on the right direction, because I don't even know if you notice now, I don't even quite have a go get it, kind of came up now. So the last time she came back, flopped on the bed, and I didn't even need the treats right in front of her face to kind of help her out. She was just kind of offering me the down on the bed without me having the treats in front of her face. She's just very excited. Yeah. Oh, there we go, a little bit of break. But if she pops back up again, I'm just going to like, go get it. Because what I'm telling my dog right now is that if you have the wiggles, if you can't stay on the bed, that's okay, you can get up and move. Right now, this is not stay. This is about leaving a puppy where they're at. Okay. If you can have to get down, don't worry about it. Come back, ask me. All I care about is the two feet, two or four feet on the ground. And that was actually pretty good. So, number one rule to get puppies on the bed, to get lots of treats, tiny, tiny, tiny treats, you get them on the bed. If they pop up or off, <laughs> they get a treat off the bed. The number one thing you're going to see is they come running back to you for more treats on the bed. Because they start to figure out that good things happen on the bed. And we want that to happen for those of you guys who have dogs who start to counter serve. That you want to cook and you want them just to hang out while you're doing those things. Oh my gosh. Okay, you're moving off. Don't get it over there. Um, you're going to want to have them understand where they should be when you are doing other things. Um, I think it's good to and Simeon and I can talk to you guys about what you're doing next because they think you're a little slightly different spot. But go ahead. It's okay. She might not be so excited with your treats. But yeah, I think you're just having a lot But now that I feel fair, I'm going to give you a couple of mine just because it's just nice to get there. Okay, so two or four feet on the bed, treat, 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 treat. If you can get the down, they get a couple more treats. If they pop up, Toss the treat. Go get it. I'm going to come around and talk about what you're going to do next, just depending on what I see your puppy really? doing. Okay. So, what I'm going to do that, I'm going to be like, I'm going to sit back down, he's going to sit, and he's going to sit. Actually, 
Actually, can I might be more specific. I really want to get it. Okay, so you just keep me kind of down. Mm -hmm. Get to mm -hmm. Sit, stand up, pause, 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 pause. So that would be very specific. So now we can do the stand up, sit down, and then like a left foot. Yeah, so you can get all the way Start moving around him, but watch the universe is starting to hurt. Between him and Zozo, we can get this one's here. I'm like, I just want to have a good day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's packing that to the other guy. Right? Right? right. Yeah. We're going to do that again this time. I think we might even get to read there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, you can give me nice treats and we're going to be getting very nice beer you now, please, guys. Oops. Not those people. Yeah. Just yeah. 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 You're like, whoa, it's the mother load. You can have that one. You just yeah. 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 So keep in mind, all you're doing is you're like saying, the bed is amazing in place, but if you have the wiggles and get up, you can get up. Um, I think for 15 years of my training life, what I did when a dog got up was I would meet and I took them back. And then I had dogs that would check out and they would just stop doing what I wanted and it wasn't fun for me anymore. And what I figured out over time, and watching trainers better than I am, is that when they get up and you do a go get a cookie chalice, they're like, thank you, I needed that. Right. I can come back and get better now. It's 
a game changer.
happened with the ghost dog, yeah? <laughs> it's chaos. It's chaos. Yeah, that's totally chaos. It's, it's much easier to approach the dog who's bum is there instead of Very cute. Just trying out stuff, seeing what happens. <laughs> no puppies have any food allergies, right? Thank you. 
paper towel stuff is not. I just wipe my feet and put it in there.
Oh my God. Uh, so we're also great for running around the beach. Uh -huh. <laughs>
Hello, Well Play with Off. Can we now is a great time while we are watching puppies. If you guys have questions, ask questions. If there are paper towels and you're not trying to scoop up the paper towels, we're going to go well play one more time. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh.
Okay, so don't forget that you guys have options to jump into this. It's virtual class during the week. She's going to be a lot more specific about using your timing of treats, your timing of verbal cues, what to do next. In here, I'm constantly trying to battle. How do I get your puppy's attention and keep it around new people and new dogs and new things? We bring your puppies in here so they have good social experiences. They see new people, they hear new sounds, they smell new things, and good things happen to them. Because if I have a dog, if I have a puppy that's great to be a nice, confident dog to adjust and adapt to changes in the environment, everything you teach them becomes really easy. The only time I see a hard time training dogs anything is when they're nervous and they're freaked out about stuff. Then I'm competing with all the adrenaline and the cortisol in their body. So I'm like, keep coming back. Do a couple more. It doesn't matter if training here is perfect. It matters that the puppy gets practice and repetition of learning some things around other people and other jobs. You can totally take this out of the road out of the walk and make sure you do a tiny bit of training every single walk. It could be sit, it could be down, it could be touch, it could be spin in a circle. I don't care what you do with your puppy out of the walk. Just interrupt your walks with them the same to do. Um, I'm also going to throw out the quick at you because usually this is the age that I hear it. Puppies are hardwired to stay close to home between four and five months, somewhere around five and six months. All of a sudden they're like, whoop, whoop, we're going, and they drag you for 200 um, blocks. But if you're telling me that you go out for your walk and sometimes your puppy just pancakes and won't walk and all they want to do is run back to the house, that is normal developmental period stuff. You do not need to be running them everywhere. I know you think they need more exercise. They come back to the house, they get the zoomies, and they go, nah, 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 nah. that does not mean they need more exercise. That actually means they get a little overstimulated outside, and now they're coming out to the inside and they're blowing off all that extra steam. So, don't worry if you're not walking really great. If you're not walking really great now, then we need to slow them down and teach them to walk nicely with you and all that kind of stuff. But you are better off at this stage. You have nice short walks where you do a little bit of training. You let them hang out, watch the world, grab a coffee, sit down, just let them relax, and learn that they can be outside. It doesn't have to be go, 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 go. Exercise is important, but also learning how to hang out outside is really, really good thing for them to learn how to do. Yeah. Really fun. I told you guys I'm talking about. Uh, I'm here next week. I'm going the week after. I'll be out in California. So, um, you guys are back next week. I will see you then. And I'll post your video to YouTube later today, and I'll send out a little bit of short homework for you guys to kind of think about and do. Jump into the virtual class, because that's part of coming to these classes. You get to work with your puppies at home. And I'll see you soon. Yeah, good job. You guys are great. You were prepared. You had fun. Your puppies were awesome. It's so awesome. All right, see you guys soon. Like a tiny shadow teeth, like three minutes. Yeah, you're doing your teeth and I'm going to get it. It's hard to get puppies. It's hard to get puppies. You're also a tiny bit sassy. I think I don't see that.